Hey guys, Jordan Lover here. I'm the portfolio manager at Trimble for the Trimble XR10 with HoloLens 2. So we just got our first shipment of HoloLens 2 devices in today. Um, my software development team uses these to develop the great Trimble Connect for HoloLens software that we run on the Trimble XR10. I hadn't seen an unboxing video come out yet, so I wanted to, uh, to record the unboxing of the HoloLens 2 give a bit of an overview of the device as I know it, and then talk a little bit about uh, our modification, our device, which is the Trimble XR10 with HoloLens 2. So first time ever unboxing one of these, let's see what we got. So cool, nice matte black box, very similar to what Microsoft did for the first HoloLens. Go ahead and get the plastic wrap off of here. like Christmas morning. So cool side profile shot of the device and then their signature little hummingbird graphic there on the back. Some really cool graphics here on the new box. All right, let's get this guy open. Maybe. that so a very cool clamshell case here a little bit of a different profile from the first one it says hololens 2 there on the tag very cool this time they added a carrying case pretty nice when you're going through airport security holding a couple of these suckers all right let's get into the guts here She is. That's cool. It comes completely assembled already with the headband and everything on there. There's the HoloLens too. It's amazing how much lighter this thing is versus the first version. It's just so much easier to pick up. So let's see what else is in the box before we dive in on that. So you've got a cool little Velcro cover here to hold all your other pieces in. Of course you got your quick start guide in there, show you how to use it. Let's see what's down here. There's your power adapter. Whoop, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, maybe it was, okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, that's your cleaning cloth in there. That's cool. Little HoloLens branded cleaning cloth, microfiber. And then our charging cords. So one cool thing that Microsoft did with the HoloLens 2, they've moved entirely to USB-C to USB-C. So both sides is USB-C on that guy. And this is actually, I think, a three amp charger. So it's a, it's a fast charger for the device. So I'm not sure on the exact specs, but it does charge it quite a bit quicker than what you're probably used to on the first HoloLens. So cool little adapter there. And back to the hollow lens. So you guys have probably seen this cool flip up visor this time around. They've added this kind of ergonomic head, forehead pad here. Makes it quite a bit more comfortable when you're wearing it. And they've got this headband. It is removable. There's a little button on each of these that you can take that off. So it's up to you if you want to wear that. It takes a little bit more of the stress off the head, even though this device is pretty comfortable to wear. So on the back, really cool ratchet suspension on this now. They've offloaded a lot of the weight to the back of the device, so it makes it just a lot more weight distributed 50-50 front to back. And this is like, it's like a Swiss watch. Just like the, the feel of this ratchet is very, very cool. So special sauce on the HoloLens itself. So you've got your stereoscopic display. It's feeding you your holographic content. Uh, total area of that display is about twice what it was on the first HoloLens and that display is actually quite a bit brighter now I think it's three times brighter than the first HoloLens was You can see new on this HoloLens the two rear-facing kind of eye tracking cameras 
So those are being used uh, for eye tracking, so it knows where you're looking, kind of in the holographic world. Um, but it's also allowing you to do authentication based off your iris, and it automatically calibrates the device to every person that puts it on. So the old HoloLens, you had to kind of know your IPD, your inner pupillary distance. This one will automatically uh, customize it and tailor it to every person that, uh, that puts it on their head. So of course you've got all your sensor packages here. You've got four fisheye cameras. Those are doing your kind of world tracking and understanding where the device is. You've got your front facing RGB, so that's a camera and, and video. I think it's 720p on this device, if I'm not mistaken. Your depth sensors are here. You've got a far throw, which is doing your, uh, your world mapping, kind of your depth sensing of the world and the, the mapping of that mixed reality environment. And then you've got the near throw, which is new on the new HoloLens. Well, not new, you know, that's what used to capture the, the air tap, but it's now allowing you to actually do full kind of 10 finger articulation and interaction with holograms with both your hands as if uh, they're in your environment. So up on top, you've got, Microsoft calls these their chimneys. So it's a completely passively cooled device. And so they're using these uh, chimneys to, to take a lot of the heat out of this uh, and, and kind of vent it up. It's a pretty clever design. I'm not sure if it shows in the video, but you've got these three little holes on the top and these are actually microphones. So they're ambient noise microphones and those allow it to hear um, out in the world um, kind of the noise coming in and then cancel that so that then these two microphones on the bottom which beam form to your mouth are what you use to talk to the, to the device for two-way communication, to talk with Cortana um, in loud environments up to about 90 decibels which is uh, about a diesel engine running by your face. And then your speakers uh, kind of really build in here just along the ears, um, really high fidelity given the size um, coming right down into your ears. So buttons on either side, um, this is your volume up and down on the right side, on the left side you've got your brightness up and down. Really cool device. One of the things that Microsoft likes to show off is um, kind of the clever design of how they got these microphones at the bottom. It's probably really hard to see, but they ran a tiny little ribbon cable down through the center and then into the eyepiece and down. You can barely even see it there through the display. Some really fascinating engineering on this device. So let's go ahead and put her on. Pretty straightforward. It's like wearing a baseball cap. Hollow lens too, there it is. I want to take a few minutes, I've got kind of the whole family in front of me and kind of sh introduce you guys to how the Trimble XR10 came to be and some of the ways that we've taken it and purpose built it for the construction site. So you can see here I've got a Hollow lens too. This is Microsoft's kind of off the shelf product. Uh, that they're selling into quite a few different enterprise industries. Um, fresh off the blocks, it's just started shipping here in the last month or two. I'm really excited to finally get our hands on this. Um, our software developers use these to develop some of our software uh, that our customers are using on the XR10. So last year we signed up with Microsoft uh, to create our own version of the HoloLens 2 purpose built for uh, folks working out in safety controlled environments like construction and oil and gas and manufacturing. And so Microsoft has what they call the HoloLens 2 customization program. As part of that customization program, uh, we source uh, components from Microsoft. So you can see it's the same front and back assemblies uh, as the HoloLens 2, but just kind of uh, decoupled from the standard fit system of the HoloLens 2. And so we took that and we built the XR10 with HoloLens 2, um, which we're now taking orders for as well. So uh, as I said, this is the device uh, for your site if you're working out in safety controlled environments that require per personal protective equipment, PPE. Um, so some of the things that we added, um, the most obvious is the hard hat, right? So we took those components and we built them into a new chassis uh, that makes it the XR10. Uh, which allows it to fit into an industry standard MSA V-Guard hard hat. And so this entire system has been certified all around the world uh, for hard hat impact protection uh, as well as electrical protection. Um, so that's ANSI and CSA and EN397 and these different standards around the world. Um, the glass itself is rated for basic impact safety. Um, uh, those same governing bodies for, for glass impact safety is what you would have uh, on your safety glasses out on site. 
Um, and then it's also an intrinsically safe solution. It's UL class one div two. Um, so especially in environments like oil and gas where you might have explosive particulate um, out in the air, it is a safe device to go out and use in those environments. So similar to the HoloLens 2, which uh, added a new flip-up visor this time around, uh, we took that flip-up visor, uh, we took it to 190 degrees. So if you're out working on a site, you can get it flipped all the way up and above your hard hat out of the way um, so that when you don't need it, it's out of the way, or if you need to get it out of the way uh, in an emergency situation. Um, another really cool thing that we added on the XR10, you can see back here on the back of the suspension, this is called the Moby One bone conduction system. So what we found is that uh, the standard speakers on, on really any mixed reality device out there just aren't really quite powerful enough to use out in these very loud environments. And especially in environments where you need to wear earplugs or over the ear hearing protection, um, you just really couldn't hear any uh, sound output in those environments. So we, uh, we partnered with a company called Mobilis and created this custom bone conduction solution that allows the user to still wear his earmuffs or his earplugs and receive the audio out uh, from the HoloLens uh, up to about 115 decibels of ambient noise environment, which is about the same as a heavy metal rock concert. Um, so still keeping the ears safe, but a lot, uh, able to use those types of two-way audio communications or uh, talk to Cortana in those types of situations. Um, on the side of the XR10, we recreated the accessory mounts that you'll see on most industry standard hard hats. Uh, very imperative because you can still have your XR10 on your hard hat and snap on earmuffs or chin straps or face shields, uh, depending on what's required out on your construction site. So really cool solution. We've taken the HoloLens 2. We've completely decoupled it from its normal fit system. We've created a new product. This is the Trimble XR10 with HoloLens 2 sold by Trimble. Um, and it is purpose-built and ready to bring mixed reality out to your construction site. Now flip it up. Thanks for watching.